Good afternoon, Noosa Shire. Well, if you're looking to do something this weekend to get out and about, why not take a stroll on our new boardwalk at Perigium Beach? It's great to see the completion of this $230,000 project funded under the Queensland Government's Unite and Recover Fund. The works included construction of a new wheelchair-friendly boardwalk, a new beach shower facility, as well as an improved access track for surf life-saving crew. Our beach foreshores are one of our greatest natural assets, attracting both locals and visitors throughout the year. A significant decision this week with Council adopting the new cycling and walking strategy. The purpose of this strategy is to get more people walking and cycling. So we're looking at off-road and on-road facilities to do that and then also behaviour change programs. So other ways we can get pe more people walking and cycling, whether that's working with school groups, um, getting out there in the community and spreading the word on the benefits of walking and cycling over traditional forms of transport. I would like to thank everyone in the community who took the time to have their say during the consultation process, with a special mention to the community project reference group who have taken part in eight workshops over the past year and a half. Tomorrow morning, our councillor coffee chats are back. All councillors will be out and about in the community. I will be, along with Councillor Lawrenston, at Noosa Springs, and other councillors will be at various venues across the Shire. I'd love to see as many of you as possible at 9am at Noosa Springs Golf Club Recreational Area Cafe. As you may have already heard, as of this morning, there are a few new COVID cases in Queensland. The state government and the chief health officer have deemed wearing masks mandatory for the next week. Have a lovely weekend, stay safe, good afternoon, and please, if you're out and about, wear your masks. Thank you.